I'm back! Finally. So... Uh, welcome to .hack GU Volume 2 Reminisce! Now, let's see here. Uh, data load, can we... Okay, let's see. So we don't have that. Now I know... Okay. Continue from a save game. Options. Game options. Uh, okay, I'm trying to find... Right now I'm just trying to find how I can uh, do the thing. You know, the data thingy. Ah, there it is. You can begin .hackGU2 Reminisce by converting clear data. Begin by converting it? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. So now, this is the clear data. This is the only one that's actually selectable. Alright. Yay! Inventory is full. Your items will be stored in your guild storage. That's nice. Alright. Following list displays the items obtained. Okay. What do we got? Strange coffee, fairy rain, fairy drop, healing storm, and healing potion. That's it. Oh, and bonus 5,000 gold. And a movie. Nice! So I've been gone for like two months now. Oh, well, wait, we're probably going to get a cutscene here. I wonder if maybe this is nothing more than just opening credits and, like, there's no dialogue. That might actually be what it is. So, uh, while we have... Oh, wait a minute, what? So wait, was the entrance that we fought just, like, a clone and the real one's been, like, stuck? Whatever. Anyway, maybe this is just what entrance does in his free time. He just freezes himself in a crystal and then just somehow gets underwater, or he goes underwater and then he uses absolute and freezes the water around him for no real reason. So he just routinely kills himself by freezing himself solid underwater. Whatever. Oh god, you're Saku. <laughs> oh god damn it. After all that's happened, you really want to stay in the world. Yeah. All that we have is here. You and I. Yes, this place is all we have. Boop, 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 boop. <sighs> God damn it, Saku. I hate you. You're so annoying. You're like a worse version of, uh. Like. The online oh. game, The World, Revision 2. It has now become a place where players prey on other players. A lawless land filled with an overabundance of PKers. And the PKKer, feared by all PKers, was Haseo, the terror of death. Haseo searched and at long last found his hated enemy, Triage, but discovered he was no match for him. He was then reduced to level 1 by Tri-Edge's Data Drain. In his search for a power that could defeat Tri-Edge, Haseo learned of the anomaly known as Ida, and the epitaph users that could resist them, and that lured him towards their power, the Avatars. Bordeaux, a PKer with a grudge against Haseo. Matsu, the seventh unit leader of the Moon Tree Guild. Alcade, the former emperor who fights to regain her throne. Through battling these three, Haseo grew both as an epitaph user and as a person. Upon defeating Endrance, the beautiful Emperor of the Demon Palace, Haseo learned that he had been using Ida to fill a hole in his heart from something lost in his past. On the day Haseo was crowned the new Emperor, 
the young girl of Moon Tree, Adelie, disappeared. In his search for her, Haseo came upon outer space. And at last encountered Triage. In his second battle with Triage, Haseo came out victorious. Triage was broken up into data fragments and was lost. But just when everyone had let down their guards, a vast number of Ida tentacles suddenly appeared. And pierced Adelie's body. Sexually. No. Anyway. <laughs> Honestly, after all the time I've been gone, I wouldn't be surprised if some people needed that recap. I... I... Adelie! Uh, Haseo? Adelie! Uh, I have to get up. I'll get yelled at again if I don't. Adelie! Adelie! If... If I could only be more like Haseo... I... Hey! Adelie! Adelie! In an at home. Ours. An at home? I. Natalie, calm down. Are you okay? Come on, speak to me! Damn it! Not this again! This isn't happening! Oh, Haseo. Just leave everything to me. Come on! I... Mega! Don't worry, you'll be safe now. So how do you feel, Adelie? Are you hurt anywhere? I'm okay, I think. Huh? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what? My voice. You know, we haven't heard Adelie say anything for a while now. Maybe her mic is broken. At times like these, it's best to just log out and reboot. Okay, I'll just log out now. Wait a minute. 
This is Raven's. Well, yeah. They're not here. My controller. My desk. My M2D. Where? Where am I? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Don't worry about your character. Just remove your M2D and... <gasps> Wait. Wait a second. I don't understand. Where are we right now? Huh? We're right... What the hell? Haseo, what about you? Where are you right now? Wait, am I seeing the world directly? I... But... where did my real self go? Wait, we, we've gotta log out! Everyone log out! Damn, I can't! What the hell is going on here? Is this... a really bad dream or something? Calm down. Currently, it appears that all the players in the world cannot log out from the game's master server. Wait a minute, all the players? Yes. Under the circumstances, it is most likely that the Ida phenomenon is to blame for this. Wait a sec! Never mind logging out. What I want to know is, are we all really inside the game? But that's impossible! Even for Ida! Your senses should be informing you that you have now ventured into the game's wondrous world. If you say that this truth is only an imaginary one, then I ask you, where is the real world? As long as they cannot be refuted, there is no end to the possibilities in this world. Perhaps it's also Ida's influence that's keeping us from hearing Adelie's voice. Anyway, we've got to figure out the situation. Putting aside our inability to log out, it looks as though the game itself is functioning normally. We can use Chaos Gates, platforms, and save shops as we did before this began. We can preserve our data at save shops as usual, but we cannot check email or forums from outside of the game. We still lack information. I'd like all of you to help investigate the situation. Pi, search the areas. Kuhn, go and search Lumina Cloth. Understood. Got it. Haseo, search Makanu. Fine with me. Uh, um... You're tired. You should rest here for a little while. Uh, okay. I just said- I need to ask oh. around Makanu. I should start by asking as many players as possible. They just said don't move and the first thing you do is, oh, I gotta go. I gotta leave immediately. Did you forget that fast. Ugh, okay, so 
about 20 hours later, I can actually speak. Oh boy, oh boy, jeez. Oh my god. Okay, gotta get used to the controls again, because I haven't played in front. Man, it's turning really well. Oh, never mind. As soon as I say it, as soon as I start to say it, it's like, oh, it's turning really well. Wavonk. Okay. So, oh my god. I have been gone. Oh, bleh. I'm bad at riding bike. What the fuck? I'm not telling it to do that. Okay, get off. <laughs> I've been gone for an excessively long time. I don't like this game anymore. What's going on? That's not wasn't the question. Nogmung. All right. Oh shit, no. Hello. What a coincidence. Rather unusual bug, don't you think? Not only are you unable to log out, we're actually inside the world. You can call this an abnormality. Then what can you call it? <laughs> okay. How about you? Talk. That's it. I'm dreaming. This got to be a dream. Aha! Ha 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 ha! It must be because I haven't slept in four days and couldn't hold up any. You haven't slept in four days? That's like really, really unhealthy. Yeah, uh, I can't seem to log out, and I seem to be inside the world. And other shit. Oh no! Everybody's stuck in the game. Depending on the game, this could be a great thing. Like if you're playing an H game, <laughs> or like Honey Pop. Although, how the hell would you? That would be weird. How do you actually play? How? How would you play the game Honey Pop if you were actually inside of it? Huh. What would it be like when you, like, you go on the date and then it's just all of a sudden this, like, giant board filled with the orbs falls down, like, in the middle of, like, the ice rink. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, wait, what do I, where did this come from? <laughs> and then all the characters are like, what? What? <laughs> There's, this is normal. It's like, really? A giant checkerboard filled with, like, colored orbs that represent emotions comes down, and then if I match three red ones, you get really horny? That's normal? It's like, yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna... I would have loved to actually speak in this episode, but no. Apparently, we got, like, an hour-long cutscene here, but I'm gonna end it off, and next time I might be able to actually talk. So yeah, then I can actually explain where I've been, and uh, I really hope that wasp does not get in my window. Um, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it off here. So next time on Dot Hack GU, reminisce, not rebirth anymore. Uh, we're gonna figure out if anybody else is stuck in the game. Spoilers, everybody's stuck in the game. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.